In this clip, we'll be learning about our screen mat controls. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this little D spill and alpha bias. So let's jump back over here and hit the A key. And you can kind of see again how this is sort of this kind of grayish color. So right now this is checked on for use alpha bias for D spill, which is going to be using basically the same thing. And what this means is that anytime you, your mat, when you're looking at the alpha like this, has a, you know this kind of gray area in it, we can start to make that more white by selecting those gray areas. So I'm going to just come in here and kind of control click some of these spots. Now you can see that if I go kind of in a little bit more to the white part, that I can almost completely eliminate that issue. Now I still have a little bit down here, so I'm gonna use a different control to show you how to fix that. Okay, so let's come down here to our screen mat. And if I just come into my clip white and turn that up just slightly, you can see that I get a really nice solid white mat. Perfect. Now you can also use the clip black if you're having some kind of an issue with uh, white spots in a dark area. Like if I had some white spots over here that were not getting keyed out, that's one way you can go about doing that. Now also if you know sometimes your subject, let's go back from our alpha, come over here. Sometimes you have this little tiny line around your subject and you can use your screen dilate to start to get rid of that. So if I pull this in just a bit, you can see that now a little bit of that edge is getting clipped and we don't have the, the issue of that white around the edge. And then if you also want to kind of soften it up a little bit, you can come in and increase the softness slightly if you need to. So I usually like to just do a little tiny bit of softness there on the edge. Now, when I'm looking at this right now, he looks to have just a little bit of this kind of green cast to him, right? So the screen balance is what determines that. So if I go all the way over here, you're going to see he gets kind of this bluish color. If I go all the way over here, he's very green. Now the screen defaults to 0.5. So I can just kind of drag this over a little bit more to the side and to down basically towards zero. And we're going to take out a lot of that green. You can kind of see what I mean when I pull it over this way. And it'll start to push it kind of more into this bluish reddish color. And it's going to be a little more of this true, um, almost looks a little more golden in the areas where the dog is white. So now we have a pretty solid key just by changing a few little fine tuned uh, results here. So let's go ahead now and come back in our next clip and start to add this dog to our footage and see what we can do to really get him integrated.